Good afternoon, manufacturing pros, and welcome to another episode of Manufacturing Happy Hour. Today, we are going to discuss when and why to use a soft start over a variable frequency drive. I'm your host, Chris Lukey, and I'm joined today by my components area manager, Steve Parko. Cheers, Steve. Cheers, thanks for having me. Welcome to the show. Now, Steve, during my time in the field, I've seen a lot more VFDs than soft starters out there. Can you give our viewers a little reason as to why that might be the case? Yeah, so that's not really surprising. Um, if you look at the number of VFDs as a ratio to the number of soft starts that get applied in the field, it's a ratio of roughly 20 to 1. Okay. The reason you'll find that is because, quite simply, VFDs are just more versatile. Mm -hmm. You can use them in almost any application. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that VFDs are easier to install, specify, troubleshoot. Mm -hmm. Again, it just comes down to versatility. And, and I think when I've seen um, soft starters for the most part, it's typically like a fan, a pump, a conveyor. Can you give our viewers a little bit about like the technical considerations for using uh, the soft starters? Yeah, so applications that are most appropriate for a soft starter are typically um, require a low starting torque. Mm -hmm. um, it's also going to be something that's lightly loaded and ultimately something you want to run at full speed. Uh, the other thing you might want to take into consideration is if it's an application where you're currently using a direct online starter, uh, a soft starter can actually help to reduce mechanical wear. Mm -hmm. So, and maybe if we could give our viewers three benefits as to when, uh, when using one of these guys, what would, uh, what would those be? Sure, so the three major benefits of going with a soft starter are going to be cost savings, space savings, and of course, energy savings. Um, to start off with, from a cost perspective, if you simply look at the technology used in a soft starter, the main componentry is going to be an SCR that connects the AC line voltage to the motor. In contrast, a VFD is going to consist of a diode front end, a DC bus, and some IGBTs. Simply because the VFD has more components in it, it's going to have a higher cost. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, if you look at the, the cost ratio of a similarly sized VFD to a soft start, that VFD can cost anywhere from 1.5 to 7 times uh, an equivalent oh, wow. sized uh, soft That's start. A lot. Secondly, um, from a size perspective, um, a soft starter is going to take up far less space. And the reason is the same thing we just talked about. Fewer components, smaller overall footprint. Mm -hmm. um, again, from a volume perspective, if you were to compare a VFD and soft starter of the same size, uh, that VFD could take up to 2.5 to 10 times the amount of volume. And then finally, from an efficiency perspective, it's, it only kind of works if you're talking about a scenario where you're running that motor at full speed. But if that is the case, once you get up to full speed, a soft starter is going to bypass those internal mm -hmm. SCRs. And with that, it can achieve efficiencies of 99.5 up to 99.9% efficient. If you compare that to a VFD running at full speed, you're probably talking about an efficiency range of 95 to 98% efficient. And so there is some efficiency savings. So to summarize, if the application is a good fit, there's the opportunity to save cost, um, reduce size, as well as build in some energy efficiency as well. We're gonna have some links to some further technical considerations after this video. So if you want more information, make sure to click on those or we're always happy to discuss um, in the meantime, stay innovative, stay thirsty, and we'll see you here again on the show soon. Cheers. Cheers.